Hello, it is A Nikki B on the scene, and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another beat with me. Today, I'm doing a reaction video to Kelsey's diary, and the title of the video is called "Learning to Love My 4C Hair Again." But I guess she talks about it, but it has in a very cinematic way and i'm really interested in it and i just saw like the little preview you know when you put the mouse over the video and it starts playing on its own so i saw a little bit of that and i'm very interested and i'm just i'm dealing with my own natural hair problems too so it's really interesting just to see other people's perspectives and their experiences learning to love their 4c hair so i am very excited and i hope you guys enjoy the video i love my hair but why couldn't it be a little looser less kinky more curly must you always defy gravity those are thoughts i'd have every time i did my hair i clearly didn't love it as much as i thought i did with type 4 hair leading the big chop movement yet it's top creators not sharing my texture she got a whole point with that every creator i've seen well not every i'm capping when I was looking up natural hair videos, when I was starting my journey, I was seeing nothing but 3B, 3C, a little too. And I'm just like, where did nat the other natural girls, like, there's more to us. And it's like, it was around a time where, you know, being natural just was not, like, in. You know what I'm saying? People didn't know what to do with their hair, how to take care of it, or anything like that. Definitely, I understand where she's coming from, where it's just like, like, the top creators in the natural, natural hair community. It's people that doesn't obviously represent my hair or her hair texture. So I definitely feel her on that. Led to me trying tons of products and styles that just did not work for me. After being fed up with long wash days, I started binge watching girls with my hair type relax or texturize their hair. I wanted to still get away with disassociating myself with relaxers while maintaining my place in the natural hair community. So I settled for a texturizer. Maybe then my hair would stop defying gravity and shrink to my ears. And maybe, just maybe then, I could finally experience a messy bun. Video after video of girls losing their hair or experiencing- I ain't gonna hold y'all. I was very close to getting a little jerry curl gel. What is it? The jerry curl gel. Very close. I was like, ooh, I want my curls to be a little more defined because I have very, 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 very kinky hair. So I'm just like, Every time I walk outside, people think I cut my hair all the time. I'm like, no, my hair just dealing with shrinkage, but it's also very kinky. And I thought, I'm like, if I had a little jerry curl thing, S curl, whatever, my curls would be bobbing. I would look like the other girls. I'm just gonna learn. Just take care of my hair, find different styles, leave it at that. And it's just so tempting because it's like, when I look at the other girls who have 4C hair, but it's longer, more voluminous and everything, I'm just like, dang, I want my hair to look like that. But it's like, it's a lot of comparing you want that attention you want your hair to be like that and especially like natural hair it's not easy taking care of it it is not it is a whole thing with it but i just wish we just had more representation of that you know thinning i still went through with it i don't know why i thought i'd be any different i probably had at least these products at least one time i actually have the big old eco style gel i used to have care too i had that purple thing in the back, I forgot the name. I definitely have Miel or whatever that is, but I have like the small conditioner, deep conditioner. I used to have the Frizz. Wow, her hair products is my hair products. Well, we, we really are connected. Natural state, which is shrunken, kinky, and coily. Her words permeated through my heart. Why was I so mean to the crown God gave me on my head? that replicated looser textures because I didn't like my own? Why did I refuse to let my hair stay in a shrunken style? Those are all questions I had to sit with and be honest with myself about. And you have to really think about it. Like I said, representation really does matter. Like, I can't remember back then even seeing a person with 4C hair or just, you know, kinky hair, tight, coily, and just rocking that. It was always within, you know, sometimes within a protective style, under a wig, lace front, whatever. You know, you rarely seen that. 
So I feel like if we had that kind of representation, we would probably be better off mentally with our hair. But even now, I still feel like we have a long way to go because there's, you know, there's still people. And it's like, it's nothing wrong with wearing lace fronts or wigs or anything like that, but we also have to build that confidence in people who, you know, who are afraid to wear their natural hair. Not because, oh, I can't manage it. It's because they feel like society's not going to view them as beautiful and stuff like that. Especially like people who do big chops. Like for me, I went natural, but I did a big chop meaning that I went to the barber, shaved everything off. So I had to wear a wig for a little bit and after that, I had to rock it out because one, it was too hot to wear a wig and I wasn't doing that. And you know, I had people call me a boy, I had people call me bullheaded, you know, all these names, so it's like, I get that. You know, it's that, it's that pressure, it's that fear. And you know, it's the idea of feeling like you're being compared to a man or you feel a boy, you don't feel feminine enough. That's what I'm looking for, you don't feel feminine enough with your natural hair and it's not you know in its natural state so i definitely understand like that whole journey that she's gone through and then you know not liking it because oh my hair is just too short so i can't do anything with it if i style it this way it's gonna look weird i get it i had gone natural before being natural was even a trend mm -hmm. i thought being free from relaxers that i had you know made it as far as being a black girl and not brainwashed enough to believe that straight hair was the standard but in fact, I had just scratched the surface because in my head, loose textures were still better than 4C. Understanding that my behaviors and attitudes towards my hair was rooted in white supremacy began my quest to learning how to love my 4C hair. I made it a point to support and learn from content creators only with my hair type. Every now and then when I'm annoyed with my hair, I'd wear it completely shrunken as my style for the week, so I can get used to looking at myself and letting it grow on me. And lastly, I do what my dean taught me, be kind to my hair, and keep a simple routine, nourish it, as I would other parts of myself. If she sees this video, I'm gonna just tell her what she did is amazing. I liked it. I hope she does more. I'm actually gonna end up subscribing to it because I really think it's dope and it's pretty inspirational for me. I'm just like, I'm on YouTube. I'm a very small YouTuber and I'm trying to find my way into the scene. So watching her, and I watched like a couple of her other videos too. I enjoyed it a lot and I'm going to be following her in her journey. And I guess any tips, I guess I can say just really just try different things. You know, don't be afraid to not try a certain style because you think your hair might not work in it because it's really all about the products i feel like it's about the products and what works best for your hair because everyone's hair is different like she has 4c but i also has 4c but her 4c is a little longer than my 4c and then her hair might accept certain things and my hair won't you know what i'm saying it's like it's different things so all in all just experiment have fun with it love yourself and yeah that concludes this video and i'll be back again with another one